specific example that I am going to pick out to indicate how we can do this is if we want to divide instead of some number which comes out exactly to 40 because you see if I wanted five divisions I could have di could have divided five into the 40 and got eight is the answer so I would know I would turn the handle eight times whenever you divide the number of teeth and we're going to call this the number of teeth because your dividing table may have something that's different from mine so we're going to say the number of teeth divided by the number of divisions and the answer you're going to get is the number of turns of the handle. Now suppose I have some number like I want to uh, divide 14. I can begin with 40 which is my number of teeth divided by 14 divisions and when I punch this into my calculator I find that I will get a very ragged looking number and it will come out at 2 point and I'm looking at my notes to so I copy it correctly 857 142 now that's an awful looking number but don't worry about it because it's going to be read on your calculator and all you have to do is push the button and it's gone. The 2 is the important number to begin with because you know you will take two full turns plus this which will be a fraction of a turn. So the way it comes out is that if I can find some number that I can multiply this by that will give me an even number. I know exactly how many holes to advance it on that little dividing plate. Now one of the plates that I have for this particular dividing table has 36 holes. That's a very nice number because when I take this fraction, point eight five seven one four two eight five seven and I multiply that by thirty six uh, excuse me when I multiply that by forty two I find that my answer is thirty six which means that if I use the dividing plate that has forty two holes and each time I advance two full turns plus 36 holes on the 42 dividing plate, I will have come to the exact division distance that will give me a 14 equal spaces along the rim of a circle if I'm cutting a gear or if I'm trying to lay out a hole spacing for, for attaching screws or doing some other job. That this is one of the ways that I can use uh, just a very simple uh, procedure of uh, doing a calculation on my calculator and eliminate the uh, possible confusion from using a chart.